Take a second and picture the year 2050. What if your morning commute wasn't in a car, but in a silent autonomous pod zipping through underground tunnels at hundreds of miles per hour? Imagine your annual checkup wasn't with a doctor, but with a swarm of microscopic bots in your bloodstream, giving you a clean bill of health. And what if the next world-changing scientific theory didn't come from a human mind, but from an AI that could learn and create in ways we can't even fathom? This might sound like science fiction, but it's the future we're currently building. The next 25 years could see a wave of scientific breakthroughs so profound they may redefine what it means to be human. From artificial intelligence that thinks alongside us, to potentially connecting our brains directly to the cloud, we're on the verge of incredible change. In the next few minutes, we'll explore some of the most mind-bending scientific predictions set to shape our reality by 2050. If you're excited to see what's coming, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content on the world of tomorrow. So, where do we start? The first and arguably most transformative shift could be the dawn of true artificial intelligence. I'm not talking about the chatbots we use today, but the potential emergence of artificial general intelligence, or AGI. This is the kind of AI that wouldn't just perform a task it's trained on. It could theoretically reason, learn, and adapt across any field a human can. While the timeline is highly debated, some experts and futurists believe that by 2050, AI could begin to match or even exceed human intelligence in certain domains. It's a concept some find terrifying and others see as the next logical step in our evolution. But what happens when the line between human and AI starts to blur? Visionaries like Ray Kurzweil have long predicted that by mid-century, humans could begin to merge with AI. The groundwork for this is already being laid with technologies like nanobotics. While still largely in the research phase, the vision is for microscopic robots, maybe even built from DNA, to one day navigate our bloodstream, repair cellular damage, and, most astonishingly, connect our brains to the cloud. Can you imagine downloading a new skill, accessing the world's information with a thought, or experiencing virtual reality that feels completely real? It sounds wild, but companies like Neuralink are already taking the first steps. Early human trials are showing that people with paralysis can control devices just by thinking. By 2050, it's possible this brain-computer interface technology will be far more advanced. It could one day help restore sight by stimulating the visual cortex or give a voice back to those who have lost it. The implications are staggering. We might develop AI that can understand and respond to our emotions, acting more like a collaborative partner than a simple tool. We could interact with digital twins, perfect virtual models of ourselves or our cities, to simulate health outcomes or fix traffic jams in real time. The very idea of human consciousness could be challenged as we consider augmenting our biology, possibly becoming a hybrid species that is both biological and digital. This fusion of biology and technology brings us to our next great leap healthcare. By 2050, the hospital as we know it might look very different. The future of medicine is shaping up to be personalized, predictive, and powered by AI. What if we could get ahead of chronic diseases like never before? AI-driven systems could one day analyze your unique genetic code, lifestyle, and real-time data from wearable sensors to predict your risk for diseases years before they appear. Your personal AI health assistant could then suggest preventative measures, from a perfectly tailored diet to bespoke medications, helping to stop illnesses like cancer and heart disease before they ever take hold. And when treatment is needed, the vision is for it to be incredibly precise. Forget scalpels and harsh chemotherapy. The hope is that swarms of medical nanorobots could act as the surgeons of the future, Injected into your body, these tiny machines could theoretically hunt down and destroy cancer cells individually, leaving healthy tissue untouched. They might clear plaque from arteries, repair damaged tissue at a cellular level, and deliver drugs with pinpoint accuracy, virtually eliminating side effects. And what about our fundamental biology? Gene editing tools like CRISPR are already here, 
and will likely become much more sophisticated, offering the potential to correct inherited diseases right at the source. Further down the road, regenerative medicine could advance to the point where we can grow replacement organs in a lab, potentially ending transplant waiting lists forever. Perhaps the most mind-bending, and yeah, controversial idea, is something some folks call digital reincarnation. The theory suggests it might actually become technically possible to create a digital avatar of a deceased loved one, using an AI that analyzes their digital footprint recorded memories, and maybe even their DNA. The ethical questions are just enormous. But the technology to create such lifelike simulations is already, well, on the horizon. This isn't just about extending life, it's about fundamentally changing our relationship with death itself. While we're reaching for a godlike technological future, we'll be forced to face a tough reality here on Earth. By the year 2050, our planet is projected to be under immense environmental stress. The science is clear. The next 25 years will be defined by the consequences of our changing climate. We can expect more frequent and severe weather events, from devastating floods and prolonged droughts to catastrophic wildfires. Some projections are honestly pretty grim. One forecast suggests the area burned by wildfires in the western United States could increase significantly and the Arctic Ocean is likely to become functionally ice-free during the summer before 2050. The World Bank estimates that digital technologies could help cut up to 20% of emissions by 2050 in sectors like energy, transport and agriculture. But without massive intervention, we face staggering economic losses and global health crises as resources like fresh water become scarce. But. You know, this crisis will also be the mother of invention. Sheer necessity is going to drive a revolution in environmental tech. The global goal is to achieve net zero emissions by 2050, and technology will be one of our most important tools. We're talking about a global energy grid powered almost entirely by renewables like solar and wind, all managed by a smart AI that predicts demand and optimizes distribution every second. Key technologies here will be renewable-powered electrification and the development of green hydrogen. Beyond clean energy, we'll see the rise of climate tech designed to actively heal the planet. Imagine fleets of autonomous drones reforesting landscapes at a massive scale. Carbon capture technologies, maybe using new materials designed by quantum computers, could pull carbon dioxide directly from the air. In our cities, buildings could become living ecosystems, with green roofs and solar panel skins that cool urban heat islands and clean the air. This isn't just about small improvements, it's a fundamental redesign of our world for survival. As we work to save our home planet, humanity will also be taking its boldest steps to leave it. By the year 2050, our presence in the solar system could be transformed from just a few fleeting visits into a proper, permanent foothold. The new space race is already here, but in the next 25 years, it could hit milestones that once felt like a distant dream. First stop, the moon. Driven by efforts like NASA's Artemis program, the goal isn't just to visit, it's to stay. So you can expect to see the first permanent lunar bases being established, serving as research hubs and more importantly, a stepping stone to the rest of the solar system. These habitats might be 3D printed using local lunar soil, or even built inside natural lava tubes for protection from radiation. This sustained presence is seen as the critical dress rehearsal for humanity's most ambitious journey yet. That journey, of course, is to Mars. The consensus goal among space agencies is to land the first humans on the dusty red surface of another planet sometime in the 2040s or 2050s. Getting there, will require new technologies, like nuclear-powered rockets that could, you know, really slash the travel time to Mars. These won't be short trips, like the Apollo missions. They'll be the start of long-term science, with humans and advanced robots working side by side to search for signs of past life and see if future colonization is even possible. While the ultra-wealthy might be taking short trips into Earth's orbit, the real change will be in how we see our place in the universe. International collaboration, which is a cornerstone of the Artemis Accords, 
will be key to expanding humanity's reach. And the tech we develop for space, from life support systems to new materials, will inevitably create benefits back on Earth. The year 2050 could mark the moment humanity truly becomes a multi-planetary species. Many of the biggest changes by 2050 will be things we can't even see. A hidden technological infrastructure will power our new reality, operating on scales both massive and microscopic. These are the emerging technologies that sound like pure sci-fi today but could be, well, foundational to our future. First, let's think small. We've talked about nanobots in medicine, but nanotechnology could be everywhere. Imagine smart dust, vast networks of microscopic sensors, no bigger than a grain of salt scattered across the environment. These tiny moats could monitor everything from the structural integrity of a bridge to the moisture levels in a farm field, giving us a constant high-definition stream of data about our world. Next, think about how we'll build things. We have 3D printing now, but the future might be 4D printing. What's the fourth dimension? Time. A 4D printed object isn't static. It's programmed to change its shape or function over time when exposed to heat, light, or water. Imagine furniture that assembles itself, or medical implants that reshape themselves inside the body as a patient heals. This technology could completely revolutionize manufacturing and construction. And what about the data that powers this world? We're generating information at an exponential rate and honestly, traditional computer chips are nearing their physical limits. Scientists are exploring a wild solution, DNA computing. They're researching how to use DNA molecules for data storage and processing. In theory, a single gram of DNA could store over 200 million gigabytes of data and keep it stable for thousands of years. It's nature's hard drive. And while still highly experimental by the year 2050, we might have begun to harness it to manage the immense data of our digital world. So what does this all mean? From AI that could merge with our minds to self-assembling materials and footprints on Mars, the world of 2050 may be more alien and amazing than we can truly comprehend. We're standing at the beginning of a new chapter in the human story, one where the very definitions of life, intelligence, and reality are up for grabs. The technologies we've talked about aren't just fantasy, they're possibilities rooted in science that's happening in labs around the world right now. But with this incredible potential comes profound responsibility. As we gain the power to reshape our bodies, our planet and our future, we have to ask ourselves, what kind of future do we actually want to build? Are we ready for the societal shifts that could come with superintelligence and radically extended lifespans? The next 25 years won't just be shocking, they'll be challenging. They'll force us to confront our deepest hopes and fears about what it means to be human. We want to know what you think. Which of these 2050 predictions excites you the most? And uh, which one has you the most worried? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the tech that will shape our future, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content. Thanks for watching.